Um, so there was a Nintendo Direct this week talking about Super Mario Maker 2. Did you watch this yet, Rick, or no? Yeah. Okay, well, it's long, so we won't watch it. Okay. We'll go over some of the highlights here. Um, I am a person that is not 100% sold on purchasing this game. Um, I think I loved playing the first one when we played it with Bryce, uh, Bryce's Wii U at his house. Um, I love watching people make levels. I love watching people play this game. Um, but I was I was like, ah, there, is there going to be... This is going to be a $60 game because Nintendo. Uh, is there going to be stuff in there that, to me, will justify you know, price of admission, so to speak? They've added so many things to where I feel like I will probably end up buying this game out of the gate. Not because I want to create levels... Or necessarily because I want to play anybody's created levels, but because they're ha- they have a story mode built in to it this time, which is basically yeah, going to be like a tutorial of how to play the game, uh, which is really cool because the story is you have to rebuild rebuild Peach's castle, mm-hmm. and so I feel like the story mode is not only going to be you playing the game, but it's going to be you creating in the game mm-hmm. to solve problems, which I think is cool. If that's the way they go with it, that's really awesome. So you get people familiar. With the controls and the systems, um, slopes is a big deal. Apparently, there wasn't slopes in the first one. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other thing was they announced a new style, which is super uh, 3D world, which was the Wii U game, which doesn't look very different. The thing about 3D world on the Wii U was it wasn't a side scroller; it was sort of like isometric, kind of top down a little bit. Where you could go into the levels as well as sideways and stuff like that. Is that the N64 so, version? No, that was the Wii U game. Oh, the Wii U game. Oh, right, right. Um, okay. With the cat suit. Yeah. With the cat suit. I remember that. Uh, so they announced that uh, as being a style you can use, which I think is pretty cool, uh, depending on how they use it. I hope it's just not like an, a palette swap for art. I hope they actually use those mechanics. Because they did say there's stuff that you can do in the 3d world art style that you cannot do in the other ones so that means they're going to have specific gameplay elements in that which i think is cool um i I watched a lot of this game being streamed by giant bomb and patrick klepek and dan Riker creating levels and trying to beat created levels and it's super fun to watch um but i just i was still on the fence about i don't know if i want to play that um, as fun as it is to play those levels, I just don't know if I want to spend $60 to play that. Um, there's full-on co-op, like New Super Mario Brothers. So mm-hmm. there's four people playing. There's stuff where uh, it's competitive co-op, if you will, so where you have to work <laughs> together to do things, but at the same time, you can screw over people. Um Competitive co-op. Yeah, yeah. Just like New Super Mario Brothers, to where you're all playing together, but I want to finish first, because I get more points if I finish first. Um, but yeah, I, I, it looks really, really cool, and uh, yeah. Um, James, does this interest you? Uh, very much yeah. so. I love the first one, and my favorite kind of games are building games. Okay, cool. So I'm going to build the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, then we're going to have to be friends on Switch, so I can play your, game, your levels. Uh, but yeah, I... Rick, you really enjoyed playing the first one yeah. with Bryce. Yeah, right? it was uh, fun where I built uh, a level and then he did and we tried to beat our own. Yeah. Which is what, is that kind of like how competitive co-op mode is or is um, it a little different? No. Or you play at the same time. Well, you can both build at the same time, which I think is really cool, but you're both playing a level at the same time. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I had fun building stuff was, that was either hard or really like, Things that were just tedious just to piss Bryce off. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, as, as soon as I heard that this was coming out, I, or it's announced, like, I'm day one buying this. Yeah. yeah. And it looks so nice. Um, the only thing that's going to be weird is it's definitely going to be one of those games where I'm like, oh, let me take it off the dock. Let me make my level. Let me put it back on the dock and play my level. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's true, yeah. But, I mean, there'll be controls to where you can build it without having to take it off the dock, obviously. But I feel like it would be more intuitive to grab a, you know, capacitive mm-hmm. type stylus and make your own levels. Underwater castle. Oh, airship. yeah. So now you can add logic to things. So you can draw the pathing for the yeah, platforms. Yeah. You can, um, 
Decide how you want the water or the lava to rise and fall on the level. Um, the thing that I hope they do is they really haven't said, and they're going to blow it out more in a couple of weeks at E3, so I hope this gets t brought up. James, I think you'll be with me on this. I want to be able to create 1-1, one, 1-2, one, 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 and 1-4, and have you go through all four in one go. Oh, that would be fun. You know what I mean? Like, like it's all any any game where you can make stuff. Like the thing is, well, can I make one one? Can I make original Super Mario Brothers one mm -hmm. one? I would love to be able to recreate one 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 two one three and one four and do that. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. the angry song. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking uh, hate that song. <laughs> yeah. So I really hope they add a way to connect levels, so you can go from one to the next to the next to the next. And if you want to just keep it to four because that was like the model, then do it. Just keep it four. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be more than that. I don't want to create 37 levels that all go together. But I think it would be really awesome to be able to do that. Because that was a thing um, that I thought would have been cool out of the gate in the first game. It was mm -hmm. like, inevitably, somebody's going to create World, World 1 Stage 1 from Super Mario Brothers. And it's going to happen. It's probably going to be the first thing you see online when you look for a level. Now... I want to be able to play all four of World 1. And hopefully they do something like that. Wow. Yeah, it looks really cool, man. It looks really cool. Um, I am excited about this more so than I thought I would be. And yeah, I, I don't know if I'll get it day one, but it's definitely a game I'm going to get. And this might be one I get on cartridge and not downloadable. Really? Just because I know my son's going to want to play it. Oh. And I don't want to buy two copies of it digitally. Um, so I might have to get the cartridge on this one. Which, yeah, that's going to be a whole thing that I'm going to have to deal with. Um, and I, I know I can make you know a... the ship level. Oh, and you can control the way they rise and fall and yeah. move also. So, yeah. There's a lot of really cool stuff that they've added to this game that definitely, I think, justifies it being called Mario Maker 2. And will justify that full sixty dollar retail price. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, man, I walked away or you know put my phone down after watching the direct. A lot more excited for this than I thought I would be. Um, but yeah, I know Bryce is going to be way in. Uh, that looked cool the way that yeah. they split up like that. Yeah, he's. Uh, I know Bryce is going to be all about this too. So we'll have we could have all four of us <laughs> competitions making <laughs> levels to drive the other insane. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you haven't watched any of the streams that Patrick Klepek did uh, of levels that Dan Reichert made, go look them up. Um, if Rick makes this a clip, I will throw the links to those videos in the show notes because Dan Reichert made the most diabolical fucking levels that were just ridiculous. <laughs> and if, it's like one of those things like if you didn't watch him make it, there's no way you're going to be able to beat it. But it was one of those things where the challenge was Patrick Klepek could not watch him build the levels. Mm. Uh, he had to be able to beat it on his own. And he oh beat God. all of them except one. And they ended up raising a lot of money for charity. Oh, very cool. Which I thought was really cool that they did that. Uh, yeah, they raised a shitload of money for charity. Something like $6,000. Oh, nice. Um, because people were allowed to donate. But they had a bet going between the two. Like, if I can beat this, you have to donate this much money to a charity. But if I can't beat it, I'll donate this much money to whatever other charity. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really, really cool.